welcome back everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed seeing a little bit, well a little bit, seeing the second half of Bowser's Fury. I know honestly I will be enjoying that game a lot on my own time, getting the 100 shines. <laughs> Unless you guys really want to see the 100 shines, but I was planning on going to something new after it. So we will see. We will see exactly what that will be on Wednesday. But We're back to Valheim. Our... oh. It always takes a while to... Go with our Joe Smithson. Today we're really gonna get to put a lot of good time into this game. And one of one thing I know just about me when I stream is that if it's a more intense game like Mario or whatever where I'm paying more attention, I have arrived. I do. I think like most people. I end up talking a lot less to everyone in chat just because I'm not looking as much. But I do always like capping the night off with Valheim because it's just a nice chance to talk to- Oh, I don't know if you guys got to see that. It was a nice chance for me to get to talk to him. Which is always fun. And I don't know how many of you were there for the end of the last game, but I'd also love to hear your thoughts on that. You feel the rest. Oh, why am I naked? There we go. I wonder if also I can't, for this game, I can't improve my things more until I somehow... Oh, I do have a tanning rack. That's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. So it's, it's the chill game. Close doors. Okay. Wish we could lower the floor a little bit here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I'm not gonna keep saying every time how much this game is beautiful, but. You'll know <laughs> when I'm thinking that. <laughs> Cause I always go <sighs> Oh, 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 oh. We can train our hunting. Ah, stupid deer. Hurt us. So it turns out that the first boss of the game is like a legendary deer. So I need to bring his kin to him or something like that. So you might be seeing me doing some more of that. It's coming right at me. What? How did I miss that? I forget I have to aim high with this game. <laughs> I have to aim high. Also, deforestation is real in this game. Look at that. <laughs> I'm destroying this part of the forest completely. But yeah, one thing I was mentioning earlier is that I do really want to give a try uh, to speedrunning. And I want to see how that goes. I'm just having a hard time figuring out what game I should do just because it needs to be something I really love. I, I think of that, that's like the only thing 
Maybe not, but like, I'm not gonna be a professional speedrunner or anything, so I, it needs to be a game I really like, that I've spent a lot of time with. Look at that. That's one of my favorites, essentially. And because I, I wouldn't want to do it, I think, with any other game. Especially if it were one that I didn't care that much about. So. Could eat another bite. So I might... I don't remember any of my binding. So I might be bringing... Maybe one day, instead of playing a game, we could just... We would do a... Just a discussion of what that could be. I would bring... Just some of the ideas I have. Because I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. I think that... I think that that's honestly really important. Not because I'll want you to choose it in the end, but just I think it's better to have more more eyes on something than just having one. Ooh. Heed these words of Ulf, a poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood, all you need to build a house. You will need to craft a roof to keep out the rain, and you will need walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door, right, okay? These things Ulf has learned for himself. Now he writes on this, okay, Ulf, pray to Ulf Odin for his soul, okay. Get out here, Ulf. That I... I don't like that. The deer. Hear me from like a billion miles away, and I guess it makes sense, but <laughs> I still don't like it. Why did you walk right towards me, deer? Why does it keep coming back to me? That was a good shot. Got it. I also wonder what, I think for most games, unless I really need to, I stay away from looking at any hints or any information, even if it, at the end, it might be, end up being useful for me or whatever. But I, one th I just end up with a lot of questions in my head, like, what, I wonder what, the improvement over every level of archery is for me, or something like that. I wonder if it's improving my accuracy, if it's improving uh, how much I drain my stamina, if it's improving power, if it goes a little bit further. And... <laughs> Again, I think some of those questions are fun to have answered. Some of those questions are fun finding out. I feel like these more technical ones are just fun figuring out. But I tend not to look for it anyway. <laughs> so, you know.
Yeah, I don't remember who who it was that came in here another day and mentioned this, but it truly does feel like you're lost in the woods, just because I think this... And oddly enough, Breath of the Wild kind of get the density of a nice forest, right? A density that I don't usually see in other games. And... I, it's just two trees growing inside of me. And it, it really feels like you're going through the wood, like this look. You kind of see through the woods all the way through the end. And I don't know why I've never seen anything like that before. I feel like it's been done, but I don't remember where or when. It's one of those things. I. It feels like I should have felt that before, like even in Skyrim or something, but it never really felt like that. Like, Skyrim felt a little bit fake for me. But this, and again, Breath of the Wild, do it. I wonder if it's the grass or what it is. Because these games really... Oh. Can I pull this off? I've gone way further. Did not know about that. <laughs> if you press R, it. Look at the size of this tree oak. If you press R, it unequips. Although this game doesn't seem to really have a reason for you to unequip. Not that I know of. Yeah, too hard. Not so. Timber! Oh, 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 it's coming towards us. Is it gonna hit, kill the oak? I do want to get ready for for the first boss, so I just think what I'm going to be trying to do is get more leather, uh, because that will make it so I can make better armor, more protection. I think that that, to me, in any game, is what I think is the priority. Do baddies hear me, like, hit stuff and that's when they come? Forgot. Thinking Mario controls. Forgot that I point at what I want to hit. But yeah, every time I start, you know, Cutting logs, cutting wood. Baddies always show up. So, it makes me, oh boy. Okay. Hit 
at me. I always hit twice. Gotta hit once. <laughs> Still don't know the way of the shield. A naked man. I am exposed. No. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta go straight. Oh, there's a shiny here. Added stone. Feels like trying to climb a mountain in the Skyrim. <laughs> You're just fighting an uphill battle. Literally. No! I'm almost there, please! Please! Let me make it to the rock. Why are they having such an easy time? Okay. Why do the baddies have such an easy time? And I have to <laughs> almost die. Probably my soda lasted this long. Usually, I drink way faster. Okay. No, I died next to a tent. On there. Should probably put some stuff back though. I only have one. One empty slot. And you should not be running on one empty slot. What I just did. Not the soda. Well, actually, pay attention to the soda. Yeah, don't pay attention to what I was doing. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. Trust me. Sometimes I don't know if I'm hearing something in the game or in real life. Signs you've played too much. I wonder if... No, Numlock does not work. I mean, the numpad doesn't work. Scraps and flint. I thought I'd grab like a billion flint. Let me check my stores. Wait. 
I, I was watching another stream and the guy had the on <laughs> genuinely brilliant idea of making a game that's just inventory management and I was like, oh, that sounds incredible. <laughs> I actually find inventory management quite fun. <laughs> I think it's a good time. Okay, so we do have enough. We really just don't have enough leather scraps. Um, might build one more chest. Maybe a couple. Just need. Furniture. Oh, I can make a sign and a deer rug. Not gonna waste it on that. Can I put it on top? Can I mount? Okay. I don't know why the game's really hitching today. Maybe I should have done sideways. You know what? If I could do them sideways, okay, I need to find... I might start storing stuff up here. Oh, you know what? I could do a rack. one of these and then start turning them. I should have enough room here. Yeah, I know. We're doing crazy inventory management. Did you change the game title? I thought I did. Oh, I did not. You know, a game that I think Chris would really like, and anyone who loves beans would really like, would have been uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, because the whole theme of that game is beans. <laughs> if you like beans, that's the game for you. Because... How does that fit into my... Okay. What I'm gonna do, so that's empty. Mouse 3 to remove. I'm gonna put the chest sideways. Boom. Now, I'll be able to start fitting more chests. I'm gonna put all my wood here. Wood. Get that wood. I know I'm carrying too much. Wood. Wood. And stone. That's, those are the two things I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Look at I'm going nuts on inventory management. Alright. Boom. 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 That's all I'm keeping here. Next up. We're emptying this chest. You're wet with no shirt. Am I wet? Was I wet? I don't think I was wet. I was naked though. That's one. Like, some people are like, yes, naked in the game. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, it's alright. It's alright. I don't need it. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. TOS 
anytime soon. <laughs> I'm okay with... So, like, Conan and any of those games, I was like, eh, I'm alright. I'm alright on the nakedness. I don't have wood. Dang it. This is also very novel. It's just a novelty, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Here. You're not gonna look, for most games, especially like something like Cyberpunk, you're not looking at your character ever. Oh, I look so sad. Oh, I'm not, I'm not wet. I'm just too heavy. That's just gravity pulling me down. That's what happens when you, you're carrying too much. Gravity just wants to pull you down like that. There we go. Can I fit one here? Ooh, squeeze one right there. There we go. Now we're making a lot of storage. So I have all my wood here. Replace that. I'm gonna have my... You know what? I'm gonna be able to fit so much. I'm gonna do flint... Actually, no. This is fine. Flint and charcoal. Flint, sure. Flint and charcoal. Uh, I get a lot of these, so I'll do these as their own thing. And... Let's see what else I have. Seeds. Okay, I am gonna need to start doing my own storage. Those, so I'm gonna put it there. That's for those two. Why are you wait? Because I I was putting way more into my inventory than my weight limit has. So this does have a weight limit. It's not just however much you can carry. <laughs> he does look very sad. So unlike something like Minecraft, it's not just the limit of what you can carry. It's also the weight limit you have. So it's it's a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna remove this flower from this chest. So we have... This one has its two. This one has its two. This one does not. Rocks and wood are very heavy. Yes! Imagine... Imagine... <laughs> I feel like there must have been, especially when YouTube was more moved by sketches and stuff like that. Imagine realistic inventory management or inventories where like a dude is just carrying as much as many logs as that. I was carrying a hundred logs in my I don't even have a backpack on my back. <laughs> Sometimes I just imagine just like, oh. For these I'm gonna keep both leathers together because I don't think I get that many leathers. But, but yeah, what I, <laughs> what I was mentioning earlier and something I really want to do after hearing it, I want to make a game where it's just inventory management. That's the game. After I heard that on another stream, I'm like, that's a genius. That's a genius idea. I just want that now. <laughs> so this is going to be... No, I feel like seeds are going to take up a lot. So I'm going to make... Okay, this chest is empty. I can... Delete it now. I always forget I don't have wood. You finished the browser game? Which one? The browser game? Bowser game, yes. Oh, Erica. It has the best Mario game ending, period. Not ending, sorry. The best Mario game boss, final boss ever. I was I was mentioning like how most other Mario games is just a rehash of a previous Bowser boss or something like that. 
this one they get creative and they make something fantastic and it is i think by far the best bowser fight ever so i am i am impressed with that game it is one of my uh favorite Mario games. I don't think it's the best Mario game, but it is one of my favorite Mario games. For sure. Alright, and what's in this one? This was just random stuff. Oh, and meat. Man, I have so much meat. <laughs> I have so much meat. Top 10? Oh yeah, easily. Easily. I think top 3. Top 3 Mario games. I guess, I guess I don't really... I don't... I'd say top 3 Mario games. I don't hold... A lot of people hold the old Mario games in extremely high regard. And, again, I'm talking about my favorite, I'm not talking what I think is the best. Uh... I think that it innovates on so much from the Mario formula that we're used to that it truly does deserve that. So in my in my books, it it is very much deserving of of that title of being a top three Mario game for me. For, I'm actually gonna put all of the trophies in one because I don't see myself. What was this? Amber. Um, what was this? Okay, this is also a trophy. So, I think it it does a lot of good, and it is a smaller experience. It's not a full full Mario game, but it's. I'm excited for the next Mario game. Let's just say that. Because if this is an evolution of Odyssey, I can't wait for. It what comes next. So, I know you have the Switch. If you like Mario, definitely get the, the package. It's worth it. 3D World is, I think, a beginner's Mario game. I don't think it's hard. Uh, I think it's... I, I'd even go say that it leaves a little bit to be desired. But... I think that it's still a fun experience. Especially if you're not like super good at a Mario game, then you're you're gonna have a blast. I'm gonna put my valuables here. And miscellaneous will go here. Like oh, this is wood. This and I'll keep it much more. go. That was a lot of inventory management. Whew. I should probably cook some more tails. But yeah, I, I was asking this earlier, but I think no one was around or that we're busy. Um, but what are your favorite Mario games? Because for me, it, it has to be Odyssey 64. Those are my two. I like that that style of Mario game. Uh oh, this is bad. I like just the free roam Mario games. I like the freedom it gives you. Are you not like a big fan of of um, 
platformers, 3D platformers. Because if you've just never, you know, it can also just happen that you just never ended up trying them. I think you'll really enjoy them because they're they're very solidly made. And if you've ever, we were talking about speedruns earlier. If you have ever seen a Mario, especially 3D Mario speedrun, oh, they're so much fun because they're so technical. <laughs> I love it. I love how technical they are. It's just a playground for speedrunners. Not really a fan of them, and that's fine. I think I grew up also on them, and I still remember going to Blockbuster. Remember Blockbuster? I, going to Blockbuster and seeing the Mario 64 stand. It was, I still remember, it had a dome over the Nintendo 64, like a plastic dome over it. And then these like little arms that came out with the Nintendo 64 controller. And then a big tube TV on, it was actually not that big, but you know, it seemed, especially for, it was like three, four when those were happening. Um, I would play them in block, so I would want my parents to take a really long time. <laughs> At Blockbuster, just so I could play it. And I... Yeah, those those were really good. And I didn't get to beat Mario 64 until Mario 64 DS, which is not the best way to play that game. <laughs> that version is superior and inferior in to the original in many ways, one of them being controls. The controls suck on the DS one. Because they didn't have... The whole thing with Mario is that you walk 360 degrees, you have freedom of movement. But on the DS, the original DS, you only have the D-pad. <laughs> so it doesn't- and- or they wanted you to use the touchscreen as the analog. So like, who does that? They even gave you the thumb strap so you could- they didn't give it to you. You have to buy the thumb strap to use it. Like, that's the terrible solution. <laughs> but... It was a solution. Alright. We've been in here talking about this stuff the entire day. It's afternoon already. I am exposed! Um. Bird? Bird? If a bird lands, I'm killing it. It was awkward. Wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> what was I? ADD. You know, one thing that did change after I started taking... Look at the trees I cut down. Yeah, I was mentioning this earlier. Like, you can see a good patch here. Stupid deer, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's a whole open patch now, just from me doing this. <laughs> Wait, can I cut birch now? It's too hard. I have a better axe, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make this island barren by the end. It'll all be brown. Just like how I've done around my home. It's all brown. Don't insult my axe. How dare thee. You need to have a lit fire. I know I need to have a lit fire. There we go. I don't like the half of it is uppercase and half of it is lowercase. I don't know why they did that. It looks terrible. <laughs> Day 21. I've been playing for 21 days. Oh yeah, I need to hunt deer. No, I need to hunt, hunt piggies. I need to kill all the piggies. 
Yeah, little piggy. Come to papa. Not only will I deforest this ins entire island, I will also de-animalize. Another bite of piggy. I can just go up to them and hit them, because they, they're aggressive. Wild and frightened. That could be a show. Well, it is, right? Naked and afraid? Never mind. They've already gotten the idea. Roll it back. Close the Kickstarter. Can't make that. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight the necks. Okay, sure, I'll fight the necks. <laughs> necks are useless to me. Yeah, killing all the things is the way to go. If you don't kill anything, can you even be called human? I'm only human. Half Whoa, look at the green. Oh, okay, never mind. I actually was liking how the sea was looking, but turns out it was a buggy bug. Naked and Afraid, Viking Edition. <laughs> Imagine, that would actually be a good show. Not only would you have to go naked and afraid, but you could only do things the way the Vikings did it. It has an extra thing on top of it. So you can't just try to survive. You have to do things how the Vikings did it. And the Vikings could be very extreme at points, so, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't be... too one game that I really wanted to play for some reason I'm not I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan and again I don't I just I've never truly played an Assassin's Creed game oh BB good night BB BB is good yeah I've never truly played an Assassin's Creed game from beginning to end I've started multiple of them Go back to my YouTube channel, you can see how many I've started and never finished playing. But back then, I literally would play 10 minutes of a game and never play it again. Which is terrible. For your wallet. <laughs> I spent so much money on games I touched. For 10 minutes. Is that a boar? <gasps> Mushroom. Never play them, but love watching them. Yeah, I really wanted to play the the most recent ones, Valhalla, but it's so expensive. <laughs> but I, I would totally. I was thinking maybe of even like possibly streaming it, but you know, you know how it is. 
because I, I've never really played it, and it seems like people have been- I've only been hearing good things about Valhalla. Some people- it's actually divided. Some people either say really good things, or really bad things. Say it's the most boring one. So, I don't know. But... For some reason, there's something about it. AC is one of your favorite games, a specific one or just a series? Um, but yeah, like, for some reason, Valhalla keeps calling to me. And, and I really want to play it. But I have it. And I, I don't know when or if I'm going to get to play it. But I really do want to. But yeah, if, if I had it, be sure that I, I would totally be streaming it. Because I'm curious. To me, it would be a brand new experience. It's not a, that it's boring, it's that it's very long. There's lots to do, and I don't have a problem with that. That's the thing. If a game can, can keep me interested and be interesting for a very long time, it doesn't matter how long it is, right? Because you, if you're having fun and you're entertained the entire time, then, the, you know, the game's doing a good job. The problem is if what you mean by saying that it's long is that it, it kind of gets boring after a while. Because that, that would be more of a problem. <laughs> There's a lot, like, a lot. And I'm sure that there is, like, it's also some of it is probably optional. It's not just like, oh. Look at that deer perfectly positioned. For death. <laughs> I'm the worst. But I would love to play it. Again, I don't I don't know why Valhalla keeps calling to me. Some bugs and movements is a bit janky. Although I heard, I, I remember the dinosaur dance. I remember that the old in the old games you could do the dinosaur dance. But like I, I remember some of the memes surrounding the older games and stuff, because those were exceptionally janky. But I haven't really heard that much about Valhalla being buggy or whatnot. So, speed killing. Why didn't you have a life bar? How much do I have? Six. There's a wet one. Wet deer. What? No way. God, I'm going. I want to get the wet deer. Ooh! I didn't get the wet deer though! Yes! That's satisfying. It's satisfying to hits stuff with a bow like that, when it has such a long travel time. <laughs> Ew, wet deer! <laughs> you like the supple, moist deer. <laughs> supple is another one of those words that, depending on what you put it with, is terrible. <laughs> Like, supple can be great, supple can be the worst word. Oh, this looks different. No, it's just a rock. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Ow! Whoa, these- whoa, whoa! They're gonna kill me! I can't believe I don't have any food. I need to remember to be better about eating food. Oh, hello, deer.
No, saturated is the word. Saturated? I think saturated is fine. Maybe it's because I think of it, like... I think of it in the scientific manner. That was my first contact with the word saturated. But I feel like I could totally see if your point of reference with it is like saturated fat and then you pull up images of fat just dripping and oozing. Then I could see that. But to me, saturated is just a scientific term, so it doesn't really get me. Plus, it, it, it has like a very like bam 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 uh, thing. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain this. It's like saturate. It has a, a very strict rhythm to it. It sounds very precise, at least to me. But where something like moist sounds wet and gross. That's kind of my... Is that a bird? What? Dang it. <laughs> no! I'm just trying to explain why saturated doesn't really get me. Why Why does it get you? Do you have, like, what's the memory? What's the thing that bring, it brings up for you? Well, I guess you may not want to be talking about that, but I'm genuinely curious. Because I find that interesting. I feel like saturated is an unusual one. I should stop saying saturated, too. <laughs> I don't mean to trigger. I, <laughs> I guess to me it's such a, like, non-issue. Like, it just kind of goes. I hope it's not Chris's. Ugh. There's one game. One game that I want to I'm not going to stream the actual game. I want to make a lecture on it. And it's Resident Evil 5. And I've mentioned- I know that I've mentioned this before, like, not recently, but back when I was streaming, maybe in like 2018 or what, whatnot. But I think it's the textbook story. I've been saying this. No memory just has the same effect that Moist does. Like, weight of it makes it interesting. It's interesting. Interesting. Huh. It's very curious. I don't think I have any word that genuinely makes me feel like that. I joke- I say Moist because Moist is a more common one for people to be like, Ugh. But... I honestly don't really have a word that, that gets me and makes me, like, flinch because of what how it sounds. Or shudder. I guess it's more of the word, the correct Oh, here it comes. <sighs> no! But yeah, so, I want to make a lecture stream one day on explaining why Resident Evil 5's story is the most textbook story. Like, it doesn't get more textbook than that. You can, so much so that you can use Resident Evil 5 to teach a lesson on how to tell a story. That's how basic it is. It's not, like, basic in a good way, either. It's just that it's basic. <laughs> so, like, by, by the books, it's literally... My definition of by the books, I think of Resident Evil 5. It's it's just so surface level, it's just so obvious. It's bad. But it's not bad. It's bad because we we've seen these tropes millions of times, but if you were teaching someone about story, it would just fit perfectly. It would not be good. It would just be the f it's like baby's first story. It's not gonna be good. But it's gonna be textbook if they're following it. Like, it's as if someone just copied the formula. They didn't innovate, they didn't do anything with it. They're not like Pixar here, like, doing crazy stuff that, you know, makes you feel things. They're just... 
They're just like, whatever. We're, we're literally going to copy the textbook. So. And <laughs> that's Resident Evil 5. And I've been saying that for years, and I really want to do a stream like that. Where I just talk about Resident Evil 5. And we go through cutscenes and stuff of it. I think that that would be really fun. Because it's so cliché. It's painfully cliché. No, so that's- I don't mean like baby books, I mean like... Baby's first book, so like... If the baby was writing his first book. Now that this is child literature. Cause, yeah. What? Oh no, I'm out of arrows. Cause yeah, child- Children's books are fantastic. Come on, hit me. Alright, punk. Oh, I'm getting the rhythm of fighting. Ooh! I broke his... Nice, okay, I'm fine. Oh, we're g coming into Black Forest territory. Okay, so I'm not... I don't want to leave the meadows just yet. But yeah, children's books are good. Uh, one of the people I'm living with is studying to become a teacher. Uh, and so she's, one of her assignments is to read like 100 children's books by the end of the semester, which is crazy, but I don't think it's too much. I think it, you know, children's books, you should be able to breeze past. But she has to write an essay on each of them. I think that that makes it a little bit more like, oh, uh, oh, Skelly Boy! Hello, Skelly Boy! It is I, non Skelly Boy. I am Flesh Man. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Flesh Man is here with his supple skin. Oh, bird! Hi -ya! Ooh, I broke their... their stance. Oh, oh, what's... oh! What is this? Hello, bird. Haven't seen you in a while. Treasure lies below! Delven dungeon! Delves and dungeons can be found across the tenth world. They are mo monuments of the past and most often filled with riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. Yeah. Bird, you talk to me for so long, it's becoming night. Bird. I have to run home. Maybe I can make a, nil a little post here in this little village. God, I need you, piggy. Your piggy meat. Alright. How much do I have? 13. It's actually might be just enough, but I'll I'll keep keep getting all the pigs that I see. Hello, pig. Oh, this is a vicious pig. Did it not give me it didn't give me any no. It did give me. Okay. Oh. So I will that's a big deer. Oh I don't have arrows. Never mind. They'll scurry away, dear. <laughs> Aw, that's awesome. That's that's really awesome. I, when I was younger, and still now, I really wanted to be a voice actor. I really just love people's abilities to do different voices. Like, one of my heroes is Mark Hamill. Just because he is... He can control his voice so well. Like, it blew me away. So, from what I understand... It, he's blown me away twice. I mean, he's good in many things, but like, when... I guess I have a, ex an extremely high bar for being blown away by stuff like this. But... The two times he blew me away 
And I don't have the second one confirmed yet. So I would like to know. Uh, not right now, but I, I would like to figure this out. The first time was in Batman. Batman uh, Arkham City. The game. Where he played Sick Joker. Now the Joker voice is very unique and very awesome. And like, he can do it very well, of course. He, he To me, he plays the best Joker. But Sick Joker, like, to make it truly feel like the Joker is sick and like coughing and dying it's like what how do you sound like a sick man so well <laughs> like it blew me away when I first heard that back in like 2010 the second time was him voicing his young self I don't know if he did though I still need to is voicing him his young self in a, t a TV show which I will not mention the name because spoilers um, but playing his young self as his current old self. And he has a very different voice naturally right now. His voice right now is very raspy. They're like, ah. It sounds a lot more like how the Joker voice used to be. Or is still, He whenever he does the Joker. So he, his voice just naturally became more like the Joker. Um, but him playing his young self, it's, as far as I understand, Um, as far as I understand, when people get older and their voice just becomes that raspier and like kind of, it's not something you can reverse. It's not a voice you can do. You can't do your young voice anymore. That's not how it works. But somehow he managed to do that? Okay, I'm actually gonna, I'm not gonna show it on screen because it might be spoilers for a show that people might be interested in watching right now, but now I'm, I'm way too curious. So he did. Okay. So I don't understand how... How he switches his voice like that. It's crazy. How can he sound like his young self? I genuinely thought, like to me, that might be like, oh, you sound like yourself? That's easy. But to me, that's unlike, I thought it was impossible. So, it's on that level for me. So that's why for me it's super surprising, I guess. But, how did I get so much meat again? I don't want all this meat! Um, yeah, let's see. I didn't think to be a voice actor till I was in high school, and I would still love to do it. Yeah, go for it. Especially nowadays where great microphones are at our, like, everyone's reach. Like, today we... We can do it more than ever. Um... I, I'd say try it. You know, try it. Um... But yeah... I can throw my voice and do different accents. Yeah, and that, isn't it fun? Like, to me, it's it's one of the most fun things to do. It's voices. I, I've loved that since I was little. I remember... This is an interesting thing. When I was in fifth grade, I could do a great Elvis impression, which I cannot do anymore. I don't know why. Uh, I can't do an Elvis impression anymore. But I used to be able to be pretty good at it. But then that was before puberty. When puberty hit, I couldn't do it anymore. Which is, again, it's odd. Um... I need to get used to where everything is. Yeah, here we go. Here's my leather scraps. But, yeah, I got the love from Jim Carrey and Robin Williams. Yeah. Ooh, Robin Williams is also very good. It's too bad how things ended with him. He, you know, I think so many generations grew up with him, watching his movies and watching his, even like, some people with their, his stand-up. And he is a true icon. And 
I don't know. He he was one of those people in the world that felt like he didn't have malice in anything that he did. You know, obviously I don't know the guy. I don't. But he never seemed to be doing things to for with an evil intent or anything like that. Like with a even with a just selfish intent. It it always felt like he was trying to make the world a better place, you know? And again, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if... But... Especially... Even like through interviews and stuff like that, he just wanted to make people smile. And... I loved him for that. I think I really look up to... Um, like, I think... Most of the time you shouldn't be looking up to celebrities. Because... They're just people and people idolize... You know, people and it, it just doesn't work out. Because... When you idolize people... It, they're, they're imperfect, right? But I don't idolize anyone, but I, I, do, I did, I always do admire people that are in the public eye and they are kind and loving and they, they truly, they understand that people are watching them and they try to be their best selves. Because I think it's, one thing that's sad to me is I see so many celebrities nowadays, it's like they're promoting a bunch of bad stuff. They're promoting like, being overly selfish, being overly greedy, being over like all these things. Like I'll just look at any rapper, any like that's all the music is about. And I think maybe the music can be fine and be that, but outside they also act like that. And and it, I don't know, it just makes me sad because I think it's not I'm not- I won't go as far as say, like, they have the responsibility to, like, 100% have the responsibility to act proper and stuff. But I do think they have some responsibility. I think that once you become someone, you know, especially, like, if you play a character that everyone loves, say someone at, in Marvel or whatever, you have the responsibility of, like, of, be res of being responsible. <laughs> When, when you're in something like it, because kids are looking up to you. So many different people are looking up to you. And you will shape a lot of those kids, a lot of those people that are growing up and seeing you as their hero. As who they want to be in some way. And, like, I, I just really think that, you know, there should just be more, and I don't think it's their fault either, because a lot of people are just thrust into these situations, especially kid actors. They don't know how how to act uh, if they become when they become famous. Like you, you're not fully developed yet. You don't know how to really take that, and that's why I think. It should be. It should be something that is brought up and taught, especially to these kid actors who are going through this. They're living a life in the public, and people, you know, the way they talk, they, any any news website or stuff, they, especially like these young girls, they'll, they'll like objectify them, and like imagine that's all you see. Is, one a recent example is Billie Eilish. Everyone's like, "Oh, show me your body, show me." Everyone's just, every news outlet is like, "Oh, the first chance I get to take a picture of her without baggy clothes." It's terrible. Like, what is that doing to someone who's still in development? Who's someone that like? I think the teenage years are one of the most fragile years because you're no longer trusting your parents for everything. You're trying to have. You're starting to have your own opinions. So you don't know what to trust. You don't know who you are. You are very insecure and that's normal. It's part of what those years are. But then you have all these opinions and then perspectives just thrown onto you. And that's what happens to a lot of these child actors. So it's terrible. I, I do think that like there should be not only a, a psychologist or a psychiatrist, I always forget, the one that doesn't give you medication, the therapist on set, or someone to educate these children's stars on like, hey, 
You're gonna hear a lot of this. You're gonna see a lot of this. But don't believe it, this is not reality. These are just people trying to make a buck off of you. And I just, it, it really makes me sad. That's something, because then they, so many of them end up being so messed up when they grow up. And, you know, and people, and there are people that look up to them. And even in the messed up stuff they do, that normalizes the messed up stuff they do, because, again, people look up to them and they idolize them. So, you know, I, I just wish that there would be more responsibility in, in just anywhere where you're a public figure and you, and even adults, like, some, some people just don't know how to deal with that. So, I, I just wish it was a more normal thing to teach that. Because we learn things like math and stuff like that, but I feel like... And we could go into a whole political thing of ge uh, the education system, but I think in most places in the world, there isn't... A... There aren't classes on how to be human. <laughs> and oddly enough... I think that that's something we need. I feel like more and more it seems like society's breaking apart. Because people don't know how to treat each other. People don't know how to be good and live in a society. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here and say I have the answers to that. But I, I think it should be a focus when you're growing up of something you're being taught. I think that, you know, maybe that should be something that is integrated into the education system. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know. But it could probably help a lot of people on just, like, not to be terrible. <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's my rant on society. My nightly rant. I don't actually rant a lot. <laughs> that's my rant. On people and stuff. Because honestly, the only reason I rant or even come close to a rant is because I, I want the world to be a better place. I want it to be a good place. I don't want people to have to suffer or anything else. Just want people to have the ability to live, be happy, and yeah. I mean, I mean, that's that's kind of it. Just <laughs> best TED talk. Uh, yeah, just have the ability to be happy and, and really fo leather helmet. Really be able to do that, and that isn't just a selfish thing. Again, since we all live in a society that is just as much about how you treat others as how you treat yourself. And I, I don't think that most people really even think about. It's 20 leather scraps. And flint. How much do I have? 16. Okay. Back out we go! No, these are the seeds. No, where was I putting leather here? Leather was here. And wood. Back here. Back to hunting. Oh, these are my piggies, though. I'm gonna... Nope. Um... Pick them up, please. Shift click. Two. Bam. Okay. Oh, can roll. Okay, okay. They're my piggies. Come here, little piggy. And ah, yeah. Come here, little 
piggy. Is it not close enough? Please tell me. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, piggy. Piggy, no! Ah, jeez. I didn't make it so hard. Okay. I gotta sp don't come this way, piggies, because you'll get angry and, and I don't know what to do with you. Okay. Shift, click. Nope. Shift, click. Two. Okay. Put them here. Horse, come back! <laughs> I just want to give you food. Oh no, oh no. Want to feed a pig, but they don't want to be fed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, it seems like they're. Hiya! Eat it! Come on, piggies. Don't you kill my piggies! Oh, I hope that guy is not trying to kill my pigs. I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> but yeah. Sorry I got deep there and... Philosophical. It's just that... I don't know. That is something I'm passionate about, and that's... why If I were ever to make it big as a streamer or something, like... I would treat that with a lot of care. Because I think you have to when people are looking up towards you. That's my conclusion. Okay, so I need to kill more pigs, but not those pigs. Because <laughs> I want to keep those pigs for myself. I'm selfish. I, ho I hope you've been enjoying the stream tonight. More of a... Yes, I agree. It does. Yeah, just, uh... I feel like they're... Breath of the Wild is one of those games that there are games before Breath of the Wild and games after Breath of the Wild, where maybe if not the main formula or like something, one of the big factors, they're pulling something from it. This in more ways than one. You have it, right? You have Breath of the Wild. Do it. Do it. Play it again. Play it again. Oh, I see. I loved the statistic when Breath of the Wild came out and the Switch that there were more Breath of the Wild copies than Switch sold like specifically for the Switch because it, it was out on the Wii U too. There were somehow more Switch Breath of the Wild copies sold than Switches. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's probably a situation like that where multiple people want to be playing. No, that makes no sense because you, you'd still need the same Switch. I don't know. I don't know how that works. As if you're lending it. Because it's not like one account per card. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I bought... I bought the Switch for one game. There was... Bought it at launch and... Literally there was only Breath of the Wild. And that's what I played. What were the other two that you bought it for? Oh, found you. There's never a boar alone. Smash an Octopath. Did you, uh, did you like Octopath? 
I've heard mixed things about it. Though Octopath is on PC now, yeah. I think the same thing is gonna happen with the new game that they're making. Uh, Project Triangle Square. <laughs> uh, Project S Triangle Strategy, there we go. <sighs> they, what terrible names. They, it was Project Octopath. I really think they should have changed it. <laughs> they should have kept that. It's weird. Um, I, I just hope they don't keep triangle strategy. But, but I didn't. I didn't really like triangle strategy. Mainly the aesthetic, yes. Combined with heavy depth of field, and yeah, no. When I saw that, I was like, wow, this looks fantastic. I really. It was one of those games that I really wanted to have gotten, but you know. You can only buy so many games <laughs> before you're broke. So, you know, kinda didn't make the cut at the time, and then it just kinda, by the time that maybe I could, whoa, did I actually hit it? By the time I could have gotten it, I was onto something else. Yeah, no, it is, Gorgeous game. I was mentioning that because I just recently played the Triangle Strategy demo. I was just mentioning that the graphics are just. I love that because I love sprite-based stuff, and then the fact that they made it in a 3D world essentially. It. I love it. I love it, and put all the post-processing effects on it. It's like. It's genius, honestly. The fact that no one had really thought of that, or no one that we've heard of <laughs> like, cause after it's done it seems like a no brainer like yeah and no one has done it since either I don't think it's just like the nemesis system where no one made use of that to me it felt like, it was a cool system, and maybe you'd see more of it in more games, but it just never caught on. Uh, there have been a couple of games, but like, it seems like it would have been a more, much more like, oh, to personalize the enemies and stuff. Something that would become, not universal, but close to, especially with these open world games like Assassin's Creed and all these games, you would have something like that, but they didn't. But now that it's copyrighted, they definitely won't. Uh, there's an upcoming adventure strategy game called Songs of Conquest. That seems to have a similar look. Is it a PC release? Is it more of a... Is it on consoles? PC? Okay. I will look into it. It'll... It'll definitely be on my watch list. Wow, got really quiet. That's not sweat. <laughs> when you mistake being cold for farting. Basically only a teaser to go off of for now. Is it is it like an indie game that is being made by like a small group? <laughs> Did they kickstart it? Or are they just like gonna do early access? Small Swedish company. Awesome. That's one of the really sad things. I'm not saying that that's what's happening with this game, but sad whenever 
you see a game that sometimes only has a teaser and then you don't hear about it for <laughs> five years and you're like, I really like that. Please give me something more. Oh, I'm going towards the water. Published by... Really? Huh. Interesting. Hello, blue eyes. Old blue eyes is here. I honestly only heard about it when it released Super Liminal. But I I remember hearing when it released, people were like, whoa, super liminal. But I I haven't played that yet. It seems interesting. It, it seemed like something that I would like playing. But I should add that to my wish list. It's, sometimes you're like, oh yeah, that game. I'm gonna add it to my wish list, and then you forget to add it. Then you forget about the game. <laughs> Every time I see a bird, I wanna get it. Really cool tech demo then, nothing for five years, yeah. Yeah, those are the... Especially if there is no news. Sometimes a lot of the smaller devs, well, even some big devs, are good with, like, maintaining a connection. Like, hey, this is what we're doing, this is what we're up to. But some don't, and they, they're just gone. <laughs> you have no clue what's going on. And you're just left to wonder. Wait. Does the map actually show the sun? Hitting? When you stop to watch the sun go. Because that feels like cool, but if it's not a pre-rendered thing, a lot of resources <laughs> for the map. <laughs> Did you ever play Sanctum games? Did Oh, no, I, I've never played them. I've heard of them vaguely. I don't, I don't think I even know what they are about in general. Should play the second one, really cool hybrid of tower defense and FPS. And then you run away, get out of here. <laughs> like orcs must die, but more convention. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, no, I don't think I, I had ever heard about it. Sanctum. I feel like there's another game that starts with S and is kind of a hybrid tower defense game. Maybe it was Sanctum. But for some reason I thought it might have gone under a different name. some reason I, I remember like Kyle playing something that looked like that and I thought it had a different name. I don't know if he played Sank- oh, I'm low on life. Oh, 
Okay, so maybe he was playing that. When I dropped in a couple times. the difference between a boar and a deer. Yeah, so I think I think I did see you guys playing that. It looked interesting because I I used to really love tower defense games. I used to play a ton of them. Especially on like my phone. It was never but just the normal the normal kind, not the not with FPS or anything. It was just always fun kinda strategizing and funneling all the enemies. But I kind of never went past that. Bloons was the bat best. I don't remember Bloons. I'm terrible with game names, honestly. <laughs> was 999. Oh, this is iron arrows. Balloons. It sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. Yeah, like it sounds familiar, but I I don't I don't think I remember it. It must might be one of those things where when I look at it, I'll be like, "Oh." <laughs> was a flash game until recently rip flash oh hello <laughs> yeah no I legitimately don't remember it by name James games are n they don't work anymore. All the browsers are dropping <laughs> support. <laughs> so like, oh, games 503.net. That was the that was quite the website. All those animal games, lamb on a pram. Possum on a blossom or whatever. <laughs> they have compl- yeah. But I wonder if... Are they usually- are the compilers do the brown or do it? Or would like, they have to? Would James have to do it? You would have to republish? Okay. I was thinking it would be really heavy if the browser was, like, taking that onto itself. Thank you for the subscription, Jack! I really appreciate it, thank you very much! I hope you're enjoying the... Enjoying the stream. But yeah, I... I do hope he republishes. Because... <laughs> These games were fun. I, my favorite was Lamb on a Pram. It's super simple, but like, addicting at the same time. <laughs> it's, like, it's one of those, it's very much a Flash game feel. Sad that, sadly, well, sad that sadly. Sadly, a lot of those games are just now free to, free to play, pay to win games on app stores. Oh yeah, don't worry, man. Yeah. 
we just talking about how we we have a friend that used to have a website. I don't it's probably still up. Game503.net or 503game.net and it and he would publish all of his games there. As well as on app stores. So those I guess those are probably still fine. They they weren't on Flash anyway, so. But I don't know if he's still paying for a developer account. And Yeah. I am glad that at least there are websites that are updating it. So modern browsers can play it. And yeah, and like I was mentioning, like a lot of the good Flash games, they were super quick, super simple, but super addictive. <laughs> I was, I was uh, on Steam, there was a, an EA sale. I don't usually buy any other games, honestly, but. And I can't believe they didn't even promote this. All the old PopCap games, more for like 50 cents each. I was just like, honestly, <laughs> I'll, I'll get a couple of these. Because I prefer actually having them instead of stream of, uh, you know, playing them online depending on how good it's going to be. But and, and then I found a game that I hadn't heard of since, and the other day we were talking about <laughs> how we, there would be games that we played in computer lab in school, and one of the games was, oh, now I can check it out, because it's, I found it on this, on Steam, Feeding Frenzy, that was the name of the game, where you're the fish, you're a fish and you eat the other fish and you grow bigger. And it, it's, I found, I was like, oh, I thought I would never find this game again. <laughs> but Feeding Frenzy is fantastic. I, I was so happy when I found that, because I genuinely thought I'd never see that game again. I searched for a long time, too, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. Where is Boarhead? I did have a feather. Mm, I guess I put more meats here. Actually, oh, dear. Don't mind me as I manage my inventory. Yeah. Why am I putting my gold? There we go. It's my valuables chest. So, dear, I was planning- oh, and Jack too, you guys weren't here for that. One of the days I'm gonna do like a Flash... Flash Games flashback. Someone in the chat gave that name, I was like, oh yeah, that works perfectly. Um, where I just play a, lot, a bunch of the Flash games and stuff like that. Cargo Bridge, yes! I remember car- uh, that is a good one. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't grab any other things. Oh, where's my oh, the leather ones up here? Okay. That, that, lint. Bam, okay.
Um. Why? Why? <laughs> what can I do with there? This makes no sense. I can literally put it into the wall. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's going there. Bench level three. Let's see what I can make. Uh, stone axe. No, that was there already. I might make a helmet. Make myself look derpy. So the levels were... Oh, really? Really? <laughs> I know. I know. It's terrible. I just can't place things in the right... Yeah, because I remember one adventure game called Wink. I played all the time. It's only hosted on new grounds these days. Oh, new grounds. How many schools would block new grounds? Granted, I know they have an adult section, but new grounds was the place to get your games. Ark is the perfect bad Unreal Engine whipping. Yes. Yes, <laughs> Ark. As we were talking about that when the first day I, I was playing this game. I was like, wow, this is immediately better than something that billions of people pay for. <laughs> it's crazy. Ark is just crazy. Um. Friday night. Oh, I don't for what. I don't rem I don't know that one. Really? <laughs> it was. That's crazy. Yeah, no, they... Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason not to just use the rag tunic. Because you can upgrade it. So then it has the same armor level as leather pants, but it's lighter? That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a deer helmet. Flint spear. Okay, so this has... Oh, that's very power- okay. <laughs> Made it. And leather helmet. I'm gonna replace some of my stuff. How do I look? Yeah, actually, it doesn't look bad. It works. It works with the design of these characters. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. No, it, it... Sometimes, with a lot of these games, hats don't sit well. <laughs> they look like they're on top of your head, especially when it's a customized character. Uh, granted, this doesn't have very deep customization, but... So, I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. Is it perfect? Not really, but... Serviceable. So, which weapon am I replacing? Flint gear, one-handed. Uh -huh. Pierce, it's Pierce 20. This is Blunt 12, so it's a different type. This is Slash and Pierce, so I might, I'm just gonna replace the knife, honestly. And we'll do, <laughs> the only way to, it was so funny. I, w I was asking, so the first day I was playing this, I had someone that, Ark, some, some people here know Ark, that played this game already, so he was helping me out with something. It's like, how do I discard things or like break them down or something? He's like, you can't. What I do is just bury it or throw it in the ocean. I was like, <laughs> pollution. <laughs> but yeah, so you kind of just discard it 
in the ocean. <laughs> just the like to me. It's kind of funny. It's just like, oh, okay. Littering is the solution. I feel like I should just put all my weaponry stuff at the beginning. Because I'll use that way more often. They want that TF2 clout. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Also TF2. I remember when that was the only game my computer could run. The ocean is the mother of all life, so it might as well be the dumpster of all life. Yeah. No, I agree. We should just toss stuff in the river. I think that that is the solution. Um... <laughs> okay, I was <laughs> like, what is that? Because, you know, the ocean takes it away. <laughs> we all know that once it takes it away, you know, it's gone. Object permanence is not a thing that only toddlers don't have. I mean, it's totally a thing that only toddlers have. Um... Shake. Right. Put the leathers back. Nice for you. There we go. Why do I keep getting these flowers? <laughs> I hate them. Uh, okay. and flint. Alright, let's- Whoa! Do I throw this? No. <laughs> it's just the jankiest animation. <laughs> Alright. See how effective this thing is. You'd think he'd throw it too. Oh yeah. The walk. I forgot about his walk. <laughs> Completely forgot about this. Fantastic feature. Oh, oh. First victim. Oh. Oh! One one shot kill. You a piggy? No, you're a rock. Is that a single? No, there they are. They don't usually travel long. Wait, why am I hunting pigs again? I'm done. I'm done. I could take on the boss. I'm gonna try to take on the boss. I have raw meat. Okay. I have raw meat. I'll kill an extra deer just to be sure. Okay, so the map does not change the sun's location. Good. Yeah, I know. Speaking of which, <laughs> I decided to work out a muscle that I completely forgot about on my legs, and it burns so much. It's like, I, I don't know the name of the, like, the muscle or whatever, but it's like the outside on your thighs. And I was like, why does it hurt? Why does it burn so much? <laughs> it's the worst. Just like I don't it's the I would call it the oppo horse muscle because it's the opposite of what hurts when you ride a horse. Rods. Doesn't know anatomy, creating his own anatomy. Um I just need one deer. <laughs> relatable comparison. Shut up, birds. I'm trying to hear any deer. Oh, is that a deer? No, it's wood.
hunter. Tell us your knowledge. Mistake not wood for deer, for they may look the same. One is alive, and the other is also technically alive, but not when it looks like deer. Wish the Vikings had the technology of Oh, it's a dude. I was like Never tried killing a dude with they move too fast. This will be our first Wow. We both <laughs> We were both like ten feet away from each other. <laughs> Oh, I'm right by the... Oh, there's a stone here. Oh. This land is hard and wild. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, we've read this one multiple times. Oh, hello. If you want a picture, ask. I'm just... Sneakily take one and act like you're taking pictures of produce. <laughs> I the moment I want to find one deer. So I can do the dumb deer thing. They're all gone. I keep finding boars. I don't want boars, I want deer. No! Screw you. This thing is- this weapon is strong, but it has terrible range. The club was so much better. Okay. Lead it. Lead it. That was way too far. I didn't kill you. I have this really annoying pain that keeps coming back every once in a while on my left arm, which always... <laughs> Especially when I was younger, after reading, I don't know if anyone here has read Hatchet. Like that book starts with kid in a plane, in like a, a small biplane or whatever. And then the pilot dies of a heart attack, and he's like, "Oh, my left arm." And ever since, whenever I would feel this pain, I'd be like, "Oh no, I'm gonna have a heart attack." <laughs> Thankfully, it's never the case. But it always, <laughs> it would always freak me out. <laughs> I'm just mentioning that because it's, I, I feel it right now. <sighs> oh, oh, one of them didn't notice me. I can't afford to just kneel walk, crouch walk everywhere. Because he uses stamina. There's no way. I 
<laughs> Better get the aspirin. Oh, I ran out of stamina. It's okay. Just, just want to kill one deer. Is that a deer? Okay, that's definitely a deer. Tell me that's enough. Yeah, stay. <laughs> Uh, look at all these deer running around. Yes! Hanzo, man. All right, we can go. Oh no, we see a billion deer all around us. Let's go to the boss. Am I fed? No. Is that a bad guy? My dude needs to hold it a little bit farther back, so he has a little bit more range. What does this one say? Hello, traveler. And bear witness to my warning. We are many who have come before you. Carried here by Olden's will to do his work, the path ahead is hard and dangers are great. If you hold your life, dear, keep these meadows and make your dwelling away from the tree. Oh, I think this is dark black forest up ahead. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm going to the boss now. Oh, now we see a deer every two feet. All right. Am I ready for the boss? Make sure I am fed. I think I'm good to go. Nope. This isn't gonna be the first challenge of the game. In fighting regard, I mean, well, no, I've... The beginning of the game was pretty hard. <laughs> you don't have anything. I don't know how aggressive the boss is going to be, or if it's going to be more of a hunt. Okay, where is it? There it is. Alright. So do I put... Offer item. Um... I do that. Four. Um, does me not feeling rested have to do with this, or was it ran? Incomplete deer tro- I need another deer trophy. Alright. Okay. Surprisingly, there's no fog here this time. I, I thought maybe they were gonna do... I thought maybe the fog was a part of the boss, but... No, I think it was just random. I just happened to get fog. Speaking of fog... The Lost Woods... That was one of my favorite parts. <laughs> yeah, like D&D style boss effect. That would have been cool. Screw you, little guy. Again. food and everything. I was ready to go. I 
I'm just gonna go get the trophies I have at home. What? I actually really do enjoy how they, they do their health and stamina system. I personally, from the games I've played, I had never Are you serious? That's one thing they need to add. When I look down, I want to hit down! But I like how you can stack different foods and different stuff to improve it in different ways. Just gonna pull out all 12 of them. He's gonna give it. I don't care. And then we're gonna use put more meat here. I'll cook the rest of this meat. Yay for learning where my things are here. Um I have some amber alert. Or whatever it's called. Resin. Well, the, the food just pops up on top of... Can I sleep? Oh, it's night already. Good. <laughs> the spear. <laughs> just went through the bed. Good morning. Does it always tell me good morning? It didn't say ZZZ -Z -Z for sleep either. Something's fishy. Something's fishy going on here. Alright. Alright, right. upgrade. What do I need to upgrade? Need bone. Oh, I see. It's because... It's already max quality. Wait. It's already max quality, so I can't really improve it. That's why leather is better. Okay, so I guess... I'll use some leather. I have 29 of it after all. I've been killing deer left. <laughs> leather. What was what I had? Yeah, leather tunic. And then. Yeah, I need bone. Wait, I actually, I actually think I had enough bones. At least for one upgrade, yeah. There we go. So, let's upgrade my leather tunic. I don't have enough for. This will provide me plenty of armor, actually. To fight the bears. Two, two. Oh, I think I know why you have to throw everything in the water. It's because it's like a Viking burial, you know? That's just what they do. There you go. So wet. Get close to this fire. Stop being wet. Look at that bar, it's so big. Okay, I'm ready to fight. My stamina bar is big too. I think throwing in water works because you don't go there diving, so you don't ex- It disappears though. The last time I, I did it, it just disappeared. 
I know that it's not like the proper way or anything, but I'm just I was just saying that jokingly. Uh But it does disappear, which surprised me. I was like, oh, so many of the things remain the way you left them, but those items do disappear. I'm guessing that items in general, once you click them, because you have to click them for you to be able to uh, absorb them into your body, they don't remain after the click. That's my guess. I haven't tested, you know, but... If it's a loose inventory item that you just dropped. Ooh, actually, I didn't get to look at... Look at this dude. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight a boss. Upgraded stuff. Let's go. Let's fight the fog machine. Da-da-da. Fog machine, fog machine, fog machine, fog machine. Alright. I'm gonna first try this boss. Alright. Bam. <laughs> um. It didn't work, did it? Alright. Actually, I'll keep the shield on. Something I won't use during the fight is... Okay, 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 okay. This is gonna be aggressive. This is gonna be more of a hunt. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, get out of here. I have the power of physics. cool though he did bring the fog wait a minute <laughs> oh I got him nice that I I whiffed but I'll accept it Ugh. too hard it's too hard for a god who can break the birch <laughs> The birch tree. <laughs> if it's too hard for a god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's recharge a little bit. Smart. He's going the other way. Oh, thanks for dropping. Oh no, he wants to make me over encumbered. Then he'll be using the game techniques against me. Yeah, he's got nothing on me. That's a booty shot.
Ah, oh, why do you have to turn? Oh, I'm out, I'm out. This area provides provides great cover for this. Screw you. I'm out. Ooh. Ooh, that was a little bit shaky. Nice, nice. Look at damage. Congratulations! Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. Thanks, bird. Hey, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. It's like... <laughs> The, the, I remember when I was playing, when I was streaming, uh, I, I don't, honestly don't remember if I was streaming or just playing, Bloodborne, and I remember there was this one boss that I just beat first try, and I asked a friend that, like, re was really into Bloodborne and really, like, oh man, I, is this a hard boss? And like, no, that's the easiest boss of the game. I know this is the easiest boss of the game, but, like, probably one of those things I was just like sweating it was like oh no it's it's the easiest boss it's fine I'm just like oh <laughs> but I'm glad I I had a lot of food and a lot of armor because <laughs> I feel like one of those hits with some of the rag armor probably wouldn't have worked out very great. All right. All right. I'm going to put it. Boom. Oh. oh, okay. Your ability to run and jump is improved. Are you gonna attack me? I bring tidings! You have been granted the power of Aether. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasure and resources. The Elder Scrolls await. <laughs> it would have been hard if I tried to melee it. That makes sense. That's why you always go with the range. If you go with the range, no one can stop you. Is this the Elder? Yes. So it's gonna be a big tree, dude. So, I activate its power. Whoa. Wait, where do where do I go now? It showed me where the first boss was. Oh, do I have to go to that the small stone? Oh, that's kind of cool. Where? It's there. It's 
snore. Wait, register? What was that? How do I register the location for the other ones? A small show where other small stones are the other small stones around here or are they, are they around the map and I need to find them? Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. That doesn't seem to work. Screw you, dear. I beat your papa or your mama. That actually doesn't sound very good. I have a feeling I'll probably want to build multiple... Uh, multiple bases. Because I don't think this one base is gonna... work out for me. And you get so many resources that it's okay. Not to just have one base. Look at my deforested area. Yes. Get out the tree. The problem is, you know, I did actually build my house right next to the black forest, so it's fine. But you know, I was mentioning before that. I was going to test this game and discover why it hitches on me. But I've never done that because I've only I've, I've been pretty busy, so <laughs> I've only ever played this game on stream, so I'd never have the opportunity to test it. What's this? A piece of very hard antler. Perfect. All right. I think that that's a pretty good cap for the day, though. I think I've achieved what I've... What I wanted to achieve. Now we're in the Black Forest. Boom. Uh-oh. Oh, are they all, like, higher levels now? Screw you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Staggered. Alright. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna enjoy the afternoon sun. And call it a day for today. And I hope you all enjoyed the adventure. I'm gonna go rest the best resting spot in all of what's the name of this land whatever the name of this land my little porch my little it's not a porch my little balcony how do I sit down there we go I wish there were chairs <laughs> well Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight. Hope you had a good night here on the stream, and I hope you had fun watching it. So I'll be back on Wednesday with a new game, as well as back with Valheim. So the first, the game of the earlier part of the night will be a different. Not sure yet which one. But yeah. Hope you guys have a good night, and I will see you on Wednesday. Uh, oh no, I still, I'm still still controlling. I always forget, I'm still controlling the game, so it doesn't really work. 
Yeah, thank you for coming. I'm gonna go to the menu <laughs> for the music. Ba-da-da, ba-da-dum, ba-da-bum-bum-bum-bum, ba-da-bum, 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 ba-